Meet Anastasia, a playful but careless girl. Anastasia was a lively 10-year-old girl with a big smile and even bigger dreams. She loved nothing more than spending her days playing outside with her friend. Whether it was climbing trees, splashing in puddles or chasing butterflies, Anastasia was always on the go. Her energy seemed endless and she rarely took time to rest or think about her health. Anastasia's parents often reminded her to wash her hands, eat her vegetables and get enough sleep, but she would just giggle and run off to her next adventure. She thought being healthy was boring and unnecessary. I'm young and strong, she would say. I don't need to worry about all that stuff. Little did Anastasia know that her carefree attitude would soon catch up with her. As weeks passed, Anastasia began to notice changes in her body. Her wrists ached constantly, making it difficult to hold her guitar or even write in class. She ignored the pain, thinking it would go away on its own, but it only got worse. One morning, she woke up to find her hands swollen and stiff. Scared and confused, she finally told her parents about the pain. Around the same time, Anastasia developed a strange rash on her skin. Red spots appeared all over her body and she felt feverish and tired. Her mother recognized the symptoms of measles, a disease Anastasia should have been vaccinated against, but Anastasia had missed her doctor's appointments, too busy playing to bother with checkups. Now she was facing the consequences of her neglect. To make matters worse, Anastasia's love for cold drinks and disregard for proper clothing in chilly weather led to frequent coughing fits. She found it harder to breathe, especially when running or playing sports. The wheezing in her chest scared her, but she tried to hide it from her parents. She didn't want them to know how careless she had been with her health. As days went by, Anastasia's condition worsened. She could barely hold a pencil due to the pain in her wrists. The rash covered most of her body and her breathing became more labored. Finally, unable to hide her symptoms any longer, Anastasia broke down in tears and told her parents everything. Anastasia's first glimpse of the hospital filled her with fear. The white walls, the smell of disinfectant and the sight of sick people made her realize how serious her situation had become. As they walked through the corridors, Anastasia held tightly to her mother's hand, wishing she had listened to her parents' advice about taking care of herself. The emergency room was busy, but the nurses quickly recognized the severity of Anastasia's condition. They ushered her into an examination room where she met Dr. Alaman Remix, a kind-looking doctor with a warm smile. Dr. Alaman listened carefully as Anastasia and her parents explained her symptoms and the events leading up to her hospital visit. Dr. Alaman's face grew serious as he examined Anastasia. He checked her wrists, looked at her rash and listened to her breathing. After a thorough examination, he sat down with Anastasia and her parents to explain what was happening. Anastasia, he said gently, you're dealing with several health issues that could have been prevented with proper care. The doctor explained that Anastasia had developed carpal tunnel syndrome from overplaying the guitar without proper technique or rest. The rash and fever were indeed measles, a dangerous disease that could have been prevented with vaccination. Lastly, her breathing difficulties were signs of asthma, likely triggered by exposure to cold and her weakened immune system. Anastasia felt overwhelmed and scared, but Dr. Elliman assured her that with proper treatment and care, she would recover. Dr. Elliman began Anastasia's treatment immediately. He prescribed medication for her measles and fitted her with wrist braces to help with the carpal tunnel syndrome. For her asthma, he gave her an inhaler and taught her how to use it properly. But more than just treating her symptoms, Dr. Alleman took the time to educate Anastasia about the importance of health and self-care. Dr. Alleman, Anastasia, he said, sitting beside her hospital bed. Your body is like a precious instrument. Just as you take care of your guitar, you need to take care of yourself. He explained how simple habits like washing hands, eating a balanced diet and getting enough sleep could prevent many illnesses. He also stressed the importance of regular checkups and vaccinations to stay healthy. Dr. Alaman's kind words and patient explanations helped Anastasia understand why her parents had always insisted on healthy habits. She realized that taking care of her health wasn't boring or unnecessary. It was essential for her to enjoy life and pursue her passions. As she listened to Dr. Aleman, Anastasia felt a mix of regret for her past carelessness and determination to do better in the future. 
Over the next few days, Anastasia remained in the hospital under Dr. Alleman's care. She learned more about her body and how to keep it healthy. The doctor taught her exercises to prevent further wrist problems, explained the importance of a balanced diet, and showed her how to manage her asthma. Anastasia absorbed every piece of information, eager to make positive changes in her life. As days turned into weeks, Anastasia's condition slowly improved. The rash from the measles began to fade, and her breathing became easier with the help of her inhaler. Her wrists still ached, but the pain was manageable with the exercises Dr. Alleman had taught her. Throughout her recovery, Anastasia remained determined to learn from her experience and make better choices in the future. During her time in the hospital, Anastasia received many visitors. Her friends from school came by, bringing get well cards and stories from class. Even her guitar teacher visited, bringing a special finger exercise tool to help her regain strength in her hands. These visits reminded Anastasia of all the things she loved to do and reinforced her desire to get healthy so she could return to her normal life. Anastasia's parents were with her every step of the way, offering support and encouragement. They helped her practice her new health habits, reminding her to take her medicine and do her exercises. Anastasia was grateful for their patience and love, realizing how much they cared about her well-being. She promised herself that she would never again take their advice for granted. As her discharge date approached, Anastasia felt a mix of excitement and nervousness. She was eager to go home and put her new health knowledge into practice, but she also worried about falling back into old habits. Dr. Alleman, remember, Anastasia, health is a lifelong journey. Take it one day at a time and you'll do great. With these words of encouragement, Anastasia felt ready to face the world with a new perspective on health and self-care. On the day of her discharge, Anastasia stood in front of the mirror in her hospital room, hardly recognizing the girl she saw. She looked healthier, yes, but there was also a new wisdom in her eyes. She had learned valuable lessons about the importance of health and the consequences of neglect. As she packed her belongings, Anastasia made a silent promise to herself to always prioritize her well-being. Back at home, Anastasia wasted no time in implementing her new healthy habits. She created a colorful chart to track her daily routines, hand washing, teeth brushing, taking medications, and doing her exercises. She even asked her parents to help her plan balanced meals and set a regular bedtime. To her surprise, these new habits didn't feel like chores. Instead, they made her feel strong and in control of her health. Anastasia's experience had taught her that health wasn't just about avoiding sickness. It was about giving herself the best chance to enjoy life and pursue her passion. She returned to playing guitar, but now she practiced with proper technique and took regular breaks to protect her wrists. She still loved playing outside, but remembered to dress appropriately for the weather and wash up afterward. These small changes made a big difference in how she felt every day. As weeks turned into months, Anastasia's story became an inspiration to her friends and classmates. She shared what she had learned about health and encouraged others to take care of themselves too. Anastasia realized that by taking care of her own health, she could also help those around her. And so the little girl who once thought health was boring became a champion for wellness, proving that it's never too early to start good habits and that every day is a new opportunity to make healthy choices.